Hello, we're gonna model this hard surface machine today and there are some user interfaces at the background we're gonna do it in illustrator and after that we're gonna use emissions and other stuff okay let's get started now we we don't need to make it exactly the same but of course we need to follow some certain areas like this it's gonna be a little bit fast because it's simple but effective of course you know i'm not concept artist i'm art director and i'm having lots of different kind of projects so maybe you are in same situation with me maybe you don't want to be you know concept artists so i decided to show you so wide range of tutorials from any kind of graphic design illustrations you know because all of these are still 3d and yeah i hope you like it extrude phase along normals i see something like that make it a little bit like this we have interesting shape here how can we model this <clears throat> um what if i use this for no no way align x y z axis make it bigger i always forget forget to change it right and we have clean cylinder there and by the way i'm gonna back up this checker the select um these areas are flat because we need l so it means that i can make those parts yeah it's something like that extra phase along normals but this time individual origin we're gonna make it like this because i see something like that and yeah i think that's it it's a little bit wider than this part but my version is so so yeah actually similar and now we need separated parts i don't know what is this i'm just modeling You know, if you are an art director or an artist who working in agencies, which I worked for years, there is no such things as, you know, some profession or some focus area uh, for the tasks. You need to know how you make it some you know specific briefs for example your client can ask maybe a car design maybe a hamburger design you know you never know sometimes they come with so interesting requests and 
yeah sometimes you you need to have some backup or you need to work with more skilled people most of agencies have to work with um you know external designers and outsourcing because they have no skills for that they just they just know how to make graphic design or using some basic photoshop that's why they always work with creative studios you know design studios illustration studios so if you know how to model wide range of models so you can find uh find a job related job more easily okay that's so competitive area because you have so so much you know rivals <laughs> and they don't want you to uh, be succeeded and that's why i just decided to show lots of different kind of um you know tutorials as i said before i'm not concept artist i love it but i don't i i'm not concept artist and you know why would i limit myself with it i love making 3d icons i love this kind of mechanical things here infographics you know yeah from now on from uh this day you're gonna see lots of different 3d modeling from me that's so cool you can always always download it from my patreon and you know you can use it on your projects freely my supporters can download the project files and i'm always on discord you can ask your questions whenever you have and i'm here to help you yeah sometimes there are some uh, subjects that i don't know but i know how to find it and i can find it for you and that's the important one you don't need to know everything you just need to know how we can learn new skills okay that's the important thing by the way i made i made this this sticks here it's like capsules um i'm just thinking about let's go a little bit out for reference because you know it's a little bit confusing area for uh, for reference so i can add more interesting details let's go extrude face along normals just like that if you ask me we can we can stay here like this but let's say you want to have more uh, less hard surface what i mean is let's see if i can find some example for example like this there's a curve here so in this case you can use subdivision surface or multi-resolution here let me show it to you you can use subdivided subdivided so you can change it go back okay so you can go back here and we can you can work with some um let me show you you can work with something like more details you know it's it's also cool but you know this, this is complete hard surface on this project so you can yeah you can work like this with edge loops and make it more sharper and more curve but as I said before, we don't need curves right now. Maybe maybe on this part I can show it to you. And it's it's pure sharp uh, object here. Okay. I can also explain that workflow later, but right now we can keep working on it. And yeah, let's have more details on it. I'm selecting more with shift 4 but you know it's here select more here and 
you can use mirror but i don't want to have symmetrical yeah i don't want to have symmetrical object let's play with it a little bit more maybe like this it's like you know ignition element here maybe you can say that and let's discover the possibilities look at this it's always fun to increase details with random extrusions with um you know your imagination play with the possibilities that's it i i, I love it actually and yeah we have interesting shape my suggestion is for you just duplicate each kind of different and new part of your project like this okay you never know how to use it for example i can use it with a uh, in different shape something like this okay so your viewers can understand that because you can't even understand yourself at some point okay so that's why I always save your um new elements it's more easy to make variations just like uh small you know, small touches like this did you see that you can you can make it so different you know most of times i'm making maybe hundreds of different parts from same basic shape and that's how we can work faster you know time is money don't forget that so you know sometimes i receive some you know comments and uh maybe like this yeah i can go forever <laughs> like this all right sometimes i'm getting some you know feedbacks or comments about you know you are working in a shortcut like you know it's some kind of cheating you are not texturing it in you know uh game standards or you know industry standards there is no such things as um standard actually okay the important point is having working and clean topology models so the result is always the most important thing you can cheat you can find another way shortcuts it depends on your you know thinking different all right we finished this part here yeah i can actually uh, mirror this but i want to finish this part from this view here and after that we can uh, mirror this so we don't need that right now by the way please don't forget to like it because if you want to support me three way the like is the way you support okay so it's all about this algorithm uh reality and if you don't if you like my tutorials and if you want me to uh works more moderated it's it's about likes because you know um i'm looking data and analytics for videos of mine and i see that no one also almost no one liking except some you know some 30 people regular watchers and you know it's a little bit frustrating after working hours and i see i see no likes of course it's your choice but you know some of you actually like it and where am i go here okay set origin to cursor to select it it's in the middle now what we're gonna do set origin to 3d cursor here but before that is it in the middle i need to be sure about this yeah and 
Now the origin point is also at the 3D cursor. It means that I can duplicate it and rotate it like this. Okay. And I'm aligning it myself, but you can use duplicate and mirror. You know, I trust myself about this after 15 years. I can I can arrange that myself and there's a bad habit for this you know this skill is I can I can um I can resist to fix some you know asymmetrical objects but I'm not obsessive I'm not feeling like that I'm not, you know, fixing everything around me, but especially uh, picture frames on the walls. I can't resist myself or to not fix it. All right. I just wanted to have something like this. It's so, you know, little bit complicated area actually let's have it a little bit less thinner yeah it's, that's better you can set the thickness yourself also you can use uh the same part here y global mirror and you can keep it but it's different shape here you can just you know Let's say you have this area here. You can go here, separate by selection. Now you have this. You can separate it like this. Oop. All right. So, you know, it's one piece and I want to have the just that part maybe. So that's that. So, so, so let's fill it with F. I'm using add-on for F2. It's standard building Blender add-on F2. So you can fill your uh, empty hole areas. Now we have a little bit interesting shape here. How we can do it? Mm -hmm. We need a plan, guys. Now I see some curvy areas here it means that uh we need to have something like this that's the first step but now i need also subdivision surface and this time we're gonna work a little bit different okay i want to have that curve but if you want to have it like this, you need to make some arrangements like this. Okay. After that, apply scale for even beveling. It's selected. Now I'm going to bevel like this. Have a little bit curvy area here. Now you also need one more edge loop here inset faces like this and yeah we have so curvy and sharp at the same time and i think we need one edge loop here because i want to have it so sharp at this stage and one inset faces here that's looking so hard surface element <laughs> right now how can we do it so it's gonna be so cheap you may find it cheap but the best way is always the simple one i want to have interesting solution like like this i want to have it more uh you know smooth surface i i can feel that it's something like this do you agree with me? Look at this. It's like, you know, yeah, that's it. 
what can we do with it now so apply it and we're gonna turn it you're gonna see what am i gonna do maybe a little bit longer but we want to have the finishing point is touching the object here you're gonna see the result and the reason of this kind of alignment okay now we can have boolean select cutter cutter will be wireframe like this all right we have the cutter here so now as long as you push it to inside you're gonna have similar result with the reference here do you see that just lift up a little bit and have it like this all right so it's almost same you can just make it a little bit inside here but i didn't like that yeah this kind of distance is better for me now we're gonna do let's isolate it with shift h and we're gonna make same process actually shift s cursor to select it and set origin to 3d cursor and duplicate it but this time we want we're gonna have more duplicate operation because it's more like you know um bolt place i don't know how you call it these are place for bolts you know what i mean you can you can um mount your screws do you know that holds and yeah i'm gonna make it myself i'm also using hard ops and you can make radial array and you can you can use it in blender too there are some couple of ways but you know array and you can you know, change it but i don't like it this uh built-in array tool here so i always prefer to use it with myself or for my personal works i'm using hard ops i love it i wish they would pay me because it's not commercial <laughs> i'm just fun of uh that add-on i love it yeah okay we have a little bit situation here it's not even here a little bit settings that's not a big problem here we just need a little bit more space that's it okay i don't care that kind of you know symmetrical because you know i can't use paid add-ons here and but i'm using aerial uh, radial arrays with paid add-on so i need to make it manual way and i don't like the building array in blender so that's that's gonna be like this if you don't like it i'm sorry but i'm not fan of this built-in right array ray right 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 what what am i doing radial array my mouth ah all right so i just joined them to the cutter here and now it's one piece object here look at this so interesting result but it's similar of course old age for bringing back everything now you can just hide your cutter here and that's the result we have so what am i saying for one hour it's bolt hole i don't know what is the name of this area but you know you got it right you can you can have your uh screws here like this <laughs> i'm explaining myself with 3d objects okay so that's why we made it a little bit bigger and it's the cool 
spot here to have it it's also looking a little bit more realistic and yeah we have another hard surface piece here and yeah what's happening now and let's change it with this one okay oh i need to apply this but be careful um yeah wait a minute i'm gonna name it as cutter and parent it because i'm not that sure let's try it to bo boolean apply you know sometimes i feel regret about applying also look at this it's a little bit lagging you don't want to work with lots of you know million of polygons so if it's not necessary i don't recommend to you uh applying some stuff like this look at this it's still loading making some process it can even crash i wasn't expecting this actually it's just boolean right so we'll see that's why I'm not recommending to do that. You can save your file, you can render it. So it's a little bit, you know, tricky and... Okay, it made it, but look at this. You need to clean up all the areas here. Let me show. Yeah, that's the result. <laughs> result that's just boolean, and of course I had to apply subdivision, and after that the boolean. Okay, so I wasn't expecting that much waiting, so I'm not gonna do it again. So go back, and I'm gonna keep the boolean and colors because I don't need to apply this, and. But keep that in your mind if you want to apply the boolean the first the first step will be applying subdivision and after that boolean the subdivided object is it clear <laughs> and we are waiting for going back I'm pausing the video <laughs> okay I took back and I will keep it like this. So how can you keep it like this? Select both of them. First one and second one is this. And parent object. Do you see that? And you can move them together. Just like that. And let's place it here. By the way, it's lagging. You can turn off some settings but it's because this boolean operation i'm not gonna i'm not gonna play with you don't worry <laughs> i'm not gonna touch you all right so yeah we have this part here let's make a little bit here and that's the inside part i could i could use this exact part but you know it has so weight on it and i don't want to mess with it mess with it i decided to use this exact shape now we're gonna model this area Let's make a plan. Uh, it looks like a plate, but it's reverse. It means that we need to have one edge loop here, no inset, and move it like this and bring it here. Something like that. Okay, maybe more bigger origin to geometry, align it, 
x, y, and z this time. Is it so big? Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's make a little bit less bigger. I'm just checking this distance here. And yeah, it looks similar. But of course, I don't need I don't need that backspace here. Yeah, you can stay like that. Let's add subdivision surface one time. Okay. I need one inset face here. And let's make it like a plate. And some here, but still we need one edge loop here or here. Okay. And what if I slide it a little bit here inside? Okay. I'm just checking. By the way, it's not the front side. Let me show it to you. Yeah, that's the front side now. It's now played. And... I don't want to have it so sharp uh, this curve here. Yeah, it's looking better. Mm. Yeah, that's better. I don't want to have that sharpness. So yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we have some random uh, extrusions here right now. One here, one here, here, okay? And extrude face along normals. Wait a minute, what's happening now? Go back. Yeah, we don't need extrusion. It's looking a little bit smooth and I like that. Yeah, I can go that way. Um, come on. Yeah. Sure. I like that. Let's make it a little bit sharper. Yeah, it's looking similar, right? And just place it here. And... What else we can do? This outer part here. And what can we use is cylinder. Just rotate it. Now we need another plan. I think. I think I'm going to make inner extrusion here. One inset. Come on. One inset and like this. And yeah, it's looking similar. And I think that's it, right? So now, of course, we need to have another subdivision surface. Because right now we are working on a pure and, you know, um, pure cylinders. And that's why you need to have subdivision surface. And 
let's make it to a little push inside just a little bit we need one edge loop here and one edge loop here right we need a little bit more inside here i can feel that angle to the inside maybe a little bit smaller yeah also you need to have another edge loop here to make it more sharp and yeah it's looking similar now we can hmm, this is the angle here but uh, i think yeah it's a little bit late to make it smaller that's the area here my version a little bit thicker than this one and we need to have it around this okay it means that we're gonna have this and i think that's another extrusion here yeah something like this we need to have it a little bit more i'm just trying to find a plan again i'm still not happy with this kind of sharpness okay i don't want to have sharp object here so uh look at this um this kind of area i think i don't need to increase it i'm talking about this i don't like that, but I, I can stay here <laughs> I'm afraid <laughs> so let's work fluently without any lagging okay I changed my mind I'm gonna keep it like this and yeah now we need this part what kind of shape is this I want to follow this one okay these are not cool or this one here and it looks like we have this this kind of rectangle and after that we have one edge loop here and something like this okay it's time for making little bit um you know personal touch snap to vertex snap here and now I'm not done yet with this piece here. Yeah. Um, control A, apply scale. And I want to have a bevel here. Look at this now. As I said before, you can make it a little bit more detailed with just small touches. And we have some opportunity here. And course i'm gonna use it and let's have inset face something like that and offset relative or select other you can have more variations with it you know look at this you can extrude this one here yeah that's an that's another way but this time we're gonna have individual okay i want to have this kind of stuff here and now extrude face along normals and push it inside right now go inside to individual origins and make it like this because i'm just trying to have a little bit interesting shape here it's gonna look better with you know with more details here and also let's play with this area here because you know why am i working on it so much because it's in the middle of the project and it's a little bit you know focus point and i want to have a little bit more you know aggressive or more sharp you know you name it and that's why i want to play it a little bit more and 
yeah this one too this one will be like this extrude phase along normals and make it like you know cog and change it to bounding box yeah sound a little bit like this okay nothing big deal and after that we need to have isolated let's place it in the correct ways shift s cursor to select that and align it to middle and origin to 3d cursor by the way i want to i want to show it to you how i'm using hard ops for radial arrays maybe you have hard ops and it can be a little bit you know helpful you can use it here operations nope mesh tools and radial array it's making it automatically and you can change look at this the right bottom corner you can change look at this and with the mouse and yeah that's it <laughs> did you get it why i love it you know it's so amazing you can make lots of operations in in a short time with hard ops and that's why i love it so uh <laughs> let's let's use it little bit reverse engineering so if you don't have um you know if you don't have hard ops you can just try the settings here maybe you know it's you know array and some settings here but of course they have a little bit custom settings and i don't think so it's it can't be difficult to uh replicate it okay anyway go back okay now since it has lots of uh duplicate operation and i don't want to mess with it because it's not a wise move you know i'm working manual with a couple of radial array but not this one so it's time to show you how we can make it with modifiers okay yeah maybe you can use it manually you can make it like this it depends on your decision so you know i can duplicate it like this if i have a couple of one but i can't waste my time with it okay so what can you do go here curve circle it's like a photoshop you know type on a path if you know that and align it x and z axis here and oop dude where are you where is my circle <laughs> give my circle okay have it like this and yeah that's it now uh, you can align it align it here and let's try let, let me show it to you what you're gonna have array the form curve and select the curve object here and look at this you're gonna have it this kind of result so what can you do to fix it that's so easy you you're gonna set origin to geometry align it in the middle it it should be in the middle and array curve and select the curve here look at this now we have this object here you can increase the count <coughs> like this but as you can see i don't want that like this so you can play with this uh, factor here so just you name it okay for example you can have 
and play with it. Uh, just decrease it, the number. You know, I, w I was gonna tell you that do you do you realize uh, some of them are bigger than the uh, other ones? Did you see that? So that's why because if you have something like this it's gonna have a couple of you know um tour one two three so if you if you see something like that it's overlapping okay it's so common situation you can be you know a little bit less um you know uh focused on the point so you can realize it after uh the modeling hey wait a minute it's a little bit bold than the other ones so that's a that's the situation here so just keep it here like this okay now we have a perfect cool um uh, array, array here okay so what else i can show to you for example like this there's another different shapes if you align it like this it's like spiral here yeah you can use it like you know maybe dna so a different couple of uh possibilities here and look at this if i scale up and scale down you can still play with it you can also play with the curve just like this yeah you can you know maybe you are not happy with the position of this and you can have it like this also uh let's try try to see the result what happens if i apply it so i apply the curve here array is distorted because you know it's still array so we need to apply this and after that it's still in the curve okay apply this now you can make it bigger or uh, smaller without any problem that's it now it's useless okay so if you want to scale up and down i think i can suggest you to have this this couple here duplicated and after that apply array first and after that curve now you can have some little bit different variations you can even use it like mirror and y global now it's in the different possibilities like radiator you know it's like some motor part you know jet engine style <laughs> things here look at this now it's so fun to play with these kind of modifiers and uh, the possibilities now we have this let's bring other stuff back and look at this you can you can increase the possibilities so easy and but right now we're gonna stick with the plan and remember i can i can't make it smaller without it so just select both of them or just apply it okay maybe you are not sure about the position or uh, the count of the array don't apply it yet just be sure and you can also uh make it same operation here like parent um parent object and you can just make it smaller uh, yeah that's it for now and let's arrange it here War little bit smaller yeah yeah it starts it starts here yeah mine mine version looking similar Ex expect little expect little bit like this and little bit angled okay Look at this it it looks like it has little bit incline here but it's not looking like that 
at the middle so don't let ai make you uh confuse you i'm gonna make it straight right so let's slide it here don't overlap it by the way if you overlap it you're gonna have some annoying problems okay and what else another loop here i want to make it perfect like curve and edge smoothness and that's it i don't want to choose that vertices here because it's about the inner part and i don't want to overlap it look at this it's on the edge actually you don't want to mess with it just leave it like this and we're gonna need another edge loop here to make it more more sharp and yeah now we're gonna have another and this one don't forget that one i think you don't need that uh what kind of thickness is this something like that what you think uh okay i'm gonna leave it like this because it's not even and i can extrude it like this yeah maybe and one more now you can make it like this scale up and a little bit less i think there is an overlapping situation here go here go 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 it's something like this yeah maybe uh yeah that's there's no problem here it's interesting it's just because of this valley valley is making this kind of separation make it look more dark and now activate it back one here as always one here one here yeah that's better you can always play with the sharpness just select edge loop here and slide it with g okay now it's a little bit less sharper you can slide it here that's why you don't need to apply it the subdivision surface at the early stages because you always have new inspiration if you are working for a client never 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 apply any subdivision surfaces because they always have uh revisions you don't want to remodel this from the scratch so just leave the modifiers alone okay <laughs> extrude phase along normals in this kind of situation situations it's a little bit uh confusing so uh turn off the cage here and define your ob uh, object and extrusion and after that you can reactivate it but it's still a little bit confusing just prepare the edge loops for inside you know you know what we doing one here 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 it's so simple actually you you just need to add um, edge loops for the both of sides of your uh, sharp edge you need to have one edge loop here one edge loop here it's like squeezing this you know 
the edge and make it look sharp. So how loose is this? It's gonna look more smooth and curvy and more squeezed like with edge. These are edge loops by the way. <laughs> and this is the sharp, this is sharp edge here in the middle and you're gonna squeeze it. You're gonna have so sharp object. Did you like my <laughs> explanation? If you like it, please like it, okay? I'm not kidding. I need your support with your likes, okay? And I'm gonna keep saying it all the time because, you know, it's just a button. It's not money. Just, just press it and that's it. Wow, yeah, look at this. I like hard surfaces, by the way. You know, it's so cool. Uh, I like it more rather than low poly and cartoon like stuff, but that's my job. I can model them too. And yeah, we have the middle part. We came that far. Look at this. We finished the half of this one. And look at this. But before start to do that, I just realized that it's been one hour, so you can find it a little bit frustrating and I can also feel frustrated <laughs> because, you know, I'm working uh, nonstop and explaining something. And But before do that, hey, select your children and... Are you selecting it? I don't think so. But before finalize this first episode, and we're gonna finish it in two episodes, by the way. Oh my God. You must be kidding with me. I just try to select them. All right. I can finish it in two episodes. It's almost done and we're gonna play with the emission uh, lightings and material the you know it's gonna be just material no textures and we're gonna make it shiny a little bit metallic with noise texture it's gonna be uh, it's gonna look like procedural you know we're gonna make a texture with uh some couple of nodes and noise textures and you can make it bigger how you want you don't need an image in this case and we're gonna draw some infographic or you know the graphics here with illustrator if you have illustrator it's it's gonna be like kind of a health blender health illustrator tutorial because i'm also good at with this kind of graphics here and we're gonna make it exactly you know with a uh, lorem ipsum texture text sorry and we're gonna make some data here the graphics the you know the levels and other stuff and we're gonna make it emissive so it means that we're gonna make it shine it's gonna be look like you know digital data screen it's gonna you know um uh it's gonna have so cool uh orange emission white emission and what else we're gonna separate them okay that's what i'm trying to say and after that we're gonna prepare it as like this actually and i think i can i can show a little bit animation to you i'm so bored about animations because if you know me from so long time i'm i was making lots of animations daily animations and i'm just bored so much and but i can show some motion graphics actually because you may need that in agency if you have you can make a portfolio for your future job maybe you are a student and you want to work in some uh, advertising agencies or design studios you you need to know motion graphics they mostly using uh, cinema 4d but i don't like it at all i use it and no way blender is the king learn blender you can just check it out for uh, cinema 4d but 
my king is blender <laughs> so anyway you just need to know how to, how you can make uh, motion graphics that's why i chose this one you know uh, you know that kind of animations with uh smartphones you know uh the layers is flying away and separation animation like you know screen is going like this and the mechanic part and the electronic parts just flying like this and you can see the layer of uh, segments of the you know that technologic element so it's gonna be like this because as you can see it looks like they are separated like this we're gonna make it a little bit you know integration animation like this uh, let me show it to you for example i can move it and explain it to you like I don't need time to choose them come on okay i i'm i'm gonna show i'm planning to show a little bit animation to you on maybe the last part it's gonna look like this it's gonna uh combine and after that all of these parts and stuff will be go like this and other stuff like this and you can you can find it useful that's gonna be so simple just with a couple of keyframes just have one keyframe and play with it here and just take renders and that's gonna be cool what else i can say yeah you can make some parts flying around also come on it's gonna be so interesting but a little bit more longer i can also animate all of this data here as animated in after effects you need to know that too <laughs> so we can make it like you know it's loading and resetting text uh, text are you know floating around we can make it so we can make it looping animations actually yeah that can be cool i'm just gonna think about it <laughs> <laughs> okay i don't want to promise but yeah that that could be so cool but it may take a little bit more time like maybe four episodes and maybe five episodes so uh, let's see okay <laughs> i want i want to do it actually but you know it's a little bit longer anyway so just finalize this episode here press like button please and i i wait you in discord and i will be happy if you support me on patreon because more support more patrons means that you are breaking my chains from my boring job and i have to work for it uh for all day because you know i have lots of uh debts and bank loans that's why i can't quit my freelance job in graphic design so i want to focus on 3d modeling and videos and other stuff all the day that's kind of some you know the hammer hammer hit for the invisible chains between my job my boring job and me so that's kind of so important it means a lot so that's why i'm sharing all of my 3d works all of my scenes i'm sharing with my patrons because you know that's so important for me and i don't care if if i spend lots of hours just use it okay i'm i'm just sharing it on my patreon my supporters can use it freely i don't care that's that's my style of thank you <laughs> for the supporters and guys yeah that means a lot okay I talked so much and yeah, see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.